Good afternoon, this is your friend Angel over at Palm Chevrolet in Ocala, Florida, in the United States, of course. Uh, just showing this beautiful Camaro 2SS convertible in Wild Cherry Team Code. And it's not just a Wild Cherry Team Code, it's a Wild Cherry Package design uh, that is exclusively for the convertible cars. Very nicely done by Chevrolet, of course. I'm gonna spin around here so you guys can enjoy this beautiful paint job uh, with the harsh marks and the black emblems, of course. The 2SS will have uh, this uh, design on the headlights that kind of go on across the grill, um, in the middle part of the grill, and they are so turning to your turn signals. I'm hitting the, the turn signal button here, the unlock button, so you guys can appreciate that. And of course, like any other uh, V8 engine Camaro, we have the, the heat extractors on the hood. That's how you recognize, really, that it's a V8 engine versus a V6 or four-cylinder, of course. Uh, also, you can see the wheels are a little bit different. I've never seen these wheels before up until now. Uh, these are the 20-inch uh, wheels for the white cherry package that is included with the car. And it had these Brembo red calibers, uh, four pistons in the front, two pistons in the back. Also, you can see the Camaro emblem with the Camaro uh, flag in the middle on the M. Looks very nice, too. From back here, it looks pretty cool, actually. And if you go around, you can see also that the 2SS will have these uh, blacked out tail lights. Uh, but they are red when they turn on, of course. Uh, we also have the backup sensors. We have blind spot monitors. This is the first Camaro to offer blind spot monitors. Uh, and it had the dual exhaust uh, mode. And that allows you the car to be a little louder than usual. Uh, if, especially if you drive in a sport or track mode. It has four driving modes in this car. If you notice, there is a backup camera here. There's another camera on the spoiler, that little one right there. And that's sort of a purpose, of course, and I'm gonna show you what the purpose of that camera is. This angle, you can see how the sun hit it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This white cherry red metallic. And it's only a $395 option to get this beautiful paint job. And of course, the wheels in the back are 20 inch. They're bigger than the ones in the front, it's wider. Uh, the brakes are smaller than the ones in the front. But the wheels and the tires are bigger than the ones in the front. And of course, they're painted in red with the Brembo logo in it. What a beautiful car, my people. Let me see if I can show you here how this thing works. I need to uh, untangle something here real quick. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, if you notice, I have my mask on, so <laughs> I was taking it off the keychain here. I got all tangled. Uh, but if you see the key fob on the convertible, they have more buttons than a regular Camaro. And that's it is for a reason. I'm gonna hit the lock button here. Then I'm gonna hold this one to start it. There it is. She's awake. Now, once the car is running, you can unlock it here twice, and then you can hold this little button here with the it has like a roof popping up. Just hold it down, and in 25 seconds is what it takes to do this magic trick. Let me unlock it again and hold it. There we go. It takes only 25 seconds and you can do it up to 25 miles an hour too. It's quite easy. And just like that, your roof is gone. <laughs> and one thing I like is to have the tunnel cover here. Uh, back in the day, you had to put a tunnel cover yourself to cover the soft top. Uh, so that's nicely done. You can see the lines, how they follow inside of the car. And it says Camaro right there. Uh, the seats are jet black, but with jet black seats, you have these uh, great lines, of course, the French teaching. It's kind of cool to look out with the top off. You can see, appreciate the interior a lot better. And this is how it looks from the back with the top is off. And of course, you look at that deck. It's absolutely beautiful. You can appreciate the lights now. And look how the exhaust system sounds. Absolutely beautiful. The sound of a push rod BA, old school <laughs> muscle car. Uh, one thing to mention though, all convertibles do have a spoiler for a reason. Uh, the antenna for FM on Camaros is in the back window. So when you put the roof down, you lose the signal for the FM. So the engineers didn't want to put a stick like in the Mustang for the FM antenna. So they integrated the FM antenna on the spoiler. This is back in 2012, and it's a practice that's still occurring today. You cannot see a convertible without the spoiler for that reason. The spoiler is actually the antenna of the car. Uh, this antenna, it's only for the XM radio and OnStar. It has nothing to do with the FM functionality. So uh, it's kind of unique. 
<laughs> an interesting feature on Camaro converter was that the spoiler is actually the FM antenna. So when you go inside the car, you want to open it, you just have to hit this little button here, the door unlocks, you get access to your uh, driver's door, you can see how big it is, it opens almost 90 degrees, and you can see the Camaro name right there on the ski plates. Uh, as part of the package, you get these floor mats too, with the Camaro logo in it, and it have these lines in the middle. So if you notice the uh, 2SS, we have both stereo, and so we have memory seats, power windows, power locks, of course, and if you notice here on the mirror, there's a little car logo. That's because this vehicle has blind spot monitor, along with the rear cross traffic alert. Uh, so it's a vehicle that has stuff that the previous generation didn't even offer. Uh, we get inside here. Even though the car is running, to wake him up, you have to physically hit the brake pedal and then hit the start button. And then everything comes to life. Very easy. Let me, uh, Hit the mute button here because they give me a copyright. <laughs> I don't want to violate the policies, you know. Now, if you notice, uh, you have this dashboard with all your instrument here, very easy to see. Uh, behind the steering wheel, you have the flat bottom steering wheel with the SS logo. But if you look at the windshield, it had also a heads up display and it has three buttons here that you can use to adjust your heads up display, move it up and down, change the information, or making it darker or dim. Uh, this little knob is to dim the lights in the interior. So I can actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can move it down, I'm moving it down right now, I'm moving it up, I can change the information I'm looking at. My favorite is the one with the RPM, they do go up when you, when you move the, when you accelerate the, the car, you can see the, the RPMs moving. I don't know if you can see it in there, but when I accelerate, the parts are moving. And of course that's happening here too, when you accelerate, you have your RPMs, your miles per hour. This thing on the mirror is a, a driving information center. The steering wheel tilts, but it also telescopes, so you can push it out or push it in, then you find your place. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have two buttons to change your favorite radio stations. On the right side, you have two buttons to adjust the volume on your stereo. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have your um, heat, uh, heated steering wheel, because yes, you need a heated steering wheel in Florida. <laughs> and also you have your cruise control. Cruise control is really easy to use. You just hit on and then hit the set button. That little logo will appear when it's on and engaged. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you have your uh, voice command buttons. This is to hang up the phone or ignore a phone call. And these four buttons here control your driver information center. So if you use this button, think about it like it is a book. You're going to flip the page. or you're going to do is hit the button down. And it will change all the information you're looking at. Trip 1, trip 2, trip B, I should say. It shows you your fuel range, uh, your remaining oil life. You also have the tire pressure monitor system along with your gas mileage. You also get a timer and the engine hours along with the miles per hour. Now, if you move these two buttons to the left, you will access more menus. One of them is the performance menu. That's very interesting. We're gonna select that. Now we can see the lateral G-force. We can see G-force all around the car accelerating or braking. You can also see the zero to 60 timer. You can track your time uh, zero to 60. This car should do four seconds zero to 60. Uh, the B6 is 5.1, the uh, four cylinder is 5.4, something like that. This is your lap timer in case you are the track with your convertible, you can track the time. This is the oil temperature, you have the oil pressure, you have the battery voltage, transmission fluid temperature, very important. And then you have the tire temperature. These tires have thermometers in them, and it tells you whenever your tires are ready or warm, so they get more sticky when you get off the hole, of course, and a track uses in very useful uh, if you are a track. Now, if you move this to the left again, it will populate these other menus, and you got uh, menus for audio, navigation, phone, and then you have your options. If you go to options, it lets you use the launch control. You can use can change the units to metric. If you go to Canada, for example, want to change it to kilometers, you can. And then you have this. This is the theme or display theme. You move this to the right and it lets you to change it to technology, and it will look like this. I don't like it. I like the other one better. This is a little bit more simple, perhaps, but I like complex things, and this looks cooler to me. It kind of match the whole theme on the card. So, either way, you can change it if you want. I wouldn't do it, but it's up to you. It's your card, anyway. It says Camaro on the steering wheel, of course, and the stitching is really nice. You get all this French stitching around, and this part of the steering wheel is kind of grippy, but then in the middle, it's really smooth. So, you go from smooth to grippy to smooth again on the bottom part of the steering wheel. 
Speaking on the sand console, we can see we have a wireless charger back there. That's cool. Uh, I don't know if it will stay in place when you're taking turns on this beast, but it is there. You can open your center console and notice you have two uh, USB A ports along with the auxiliary jack and an SD card. If you desire to add navigation, you can for only $500 instead of having to buy a $3,000 radio or something crazy like that. Uh, so we do give you the option to add the navigation. Meanwhile, the car does have four navigation systems that you can use. One of them is with OnStar and the other one is uh, with your phone. So if you hit OK here, we get OK, continue. You see we got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but now these systems operate wireless. So you don't even have to plug your phone to the USB port. It will transfer the image to your phone on the radio. That would allow you to use Apple Maps if you have an Apple phone, iPhone, or you can use Google Maps or you can use Waze. If you have an Android phone, you can only use uh, Waze or uh, Google Maps. Google Maps is my favorite by far. But we do have an app store that allows you to download different apps onto this radio. We offer over 20 apps to choose from right now. And uh, you can just add, add more as you please accessing our app store. Uh, uh, aside from that, the car has Wi-Fi for up to seven devices and it operates within 50 feet around the vehicle. The first month of the Wi-Fi service is free. Then we offer an unlimited data plan for $25 a month or you can use a smaller bundle for three gigabytes for like $10, $15 a month. It's not too expensive. In fact, it's the least expensive data plan you can find. Uh, another cool thing about Camaro's 2SS is the ambient lighting. Uh, we have 25 colors to choose from the ambient lighting. If you notice right now, this is kind of red there. It's also red in here. Let me see if I can cover it up so you can see it. And then of course the driver's door has it too. That's because I'm in sport mode. Now, if I change this to touring, I change the tour there. I change the couple behaviors of the car, but now you see the ambient lighting turns blue. It actually changed how the car sounds, how the steering will feel. So in touring mode, this is how it sounds in touring mode. Eh, not too bad, right? It's a V8. But if you move this to sport or track, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna change to red. Now you can see everything here in red. This is how it sounds in sport mode. So that's one. Now I can change to this to track mode. In track mode is yellow, so everything here is gonna change to kind of orange and yellow color. I'm not hard to see with this camera, but this is how it works. So yeah. <laughs> A lot more louder if you go to track mode and a lot more responsive also the steering wheel gets really hard uh, so touring mode would be the preferred method of use for most <laughs> camaro owners if they want to be quiet and smooth you can uh, you also have controls for the climate on the screen so you can hit the climate button and from the climate buttons uh, screen you can actually accelerate your ac fan you can adjust your temperature for driver and passenger airflow etc however it doesn't let you operate the seats so the seats for the cool seats are right here on the left side. This is for the driver and you have them on the right side for the, for the passenger. They have three levers, high, medium, low and off. Same goes with the heated seats. We have high, medium, low, off. Cool seats were not offered on the fifth generation. So the Camaro has the sixth generation now since 2016. It's been offering cool seats now. So these are your climate buttons. You can use this to adjust the temperature. You just rotate the air vent. Very interesting how it works. Uh, but it's functional you can actually adjust the vents here you can accelerate the fan speed using these buttons or change the airflow here using these other buttons you can see the if i went into the floor or the vents on the top you decide how you you want your airflow and now that we've been here we can look at the carbon fiber shifter here it looks pretty nice i love it it had the camaro logo in it and it looks really nice i've never seen this before it's the first time i see it uh, but one thing that the transmission allow you to do is to shift gears right here you see what it says plus and minus so you can actually shift to drive and move this to the left and now you basically have a manual car you up shift or non shift right here without you having to use a clutch for example of course and then of course you put it back in park and that's it the other way to do it is using the pattern shifter plus and minus you can use the pattern shifter or the shifter itself it's up to you how you want to use it i like the pattern shifter i mean the, this better because the pattern shifter is hard to find in some time when you turn it and stuff so uh, but it's up to you how you want to use it this is a new parking brake my uh, so instead of having the handle you pull you just pull the switch that's it that's your parking brake it will just say parking brake set to release it you have to hold the brake pedal and then push the button down it's like putting the handle down right so it will say park brake release very simple to use very intuitive 
Now, you also have a traction control button. You need to push this twice to disable both systems if you want to do a burnout, drift the car, stuff like that. I'm not going to show you how, but you can do it yourself. There's a 12 volt outlet here too for the passenger in case you need some uh, 12 volt energy. Uh, and of course, uh, the screen offer a lot of more things. For instance, you can go to here to settings. You can customize a couple of things. Here's the vehicle driving modes. One of them is the engine sound. So right now I had a select with it sounds when you change your mode selector, which is this button. But if you want your car to be in tour and be loud, no problem. You just hit sport or track and it's, now it's fully open. If I put it in stealth mode, it means that it's quiet. Now you can barely hear it. Or auto mode selector, well, it will change with the driving mode button here. Now to raise the roof is pretty simple. You just hit this button here. There's only four buttons on the roof. And the first three are for OnStar telematic services. And then you have this one to operate the roof. I don't know if you can see it here. You're gonna push it forward if you want the roof to come in. And there it is, it's just coming. It only take 25 seconds, like I say. You can count it if you like. <coughs> or you can just believe me, it's, it's easy. <laughs> there we go. Now, interesting enough is how you raise your windows on the Camaro. Uh, so it's kind of difficult. You have a Camaro uh, fifth generation and it's not like this. Uh, my Camaro has four windows and it has four switches. In here, they want to save the switches. So they put two buttons and two switches. But this button on the corner here is to operate the front windows. If you want to raise the back window, you must push this button. And then the same switches you use for the front windows are going to operate the back window. Watch. All right, so once those windows are up, we're going to raise the front windows now. We're going to hit the front and then the same switches again, raise the same windows, the front windows. So, one button, I don't know. I, I think they should just put four switches, <laughs> but that's okay. That's how it works. You got rear windows, front windows. The reason I'm critic about this is because a lot of people get in these cars and leave the back windows down when they don't use them. And it's because they don't know how to raise them. Uh, here's your memory seat button. It's a memory seat for two drivers. Uh, so uh, it's very, very luxurious, this Camaro inside. It looks very nice. I love it. I'm gonna show you what's under the hood. Of course, that's always interesting to see. But before I do that, I gotta show you the camera system. So if I put the car in reverse, here's your camera, your backup camera. And you can see pretty good, it's 180 degrees. It has this line that follow you when you turn the steering wheel. So it shows you in what direction you're going. However, if you don't want the lines, it's very simple. You just hit this button here and the light disappear. Now if I put the car in park, the camera disappears. So I don't have any more visibility going forward. I use my rear view mirror to look back, right? Uh, the problem is you don't see much on the rear view mirror. You see the seat and you see the rear window. That's about it. Uh, if you wanna see what's behind you, then you're gonna go under here and pull this little guy. Boom. <laughs> now your camera, I mean your mirror is now a monitor because it has a camera mounted on the spoiler. That's this camera I showed you before that wasn't that spoiler. And it's adjustable. You can hit this button here, make it darker if you like or dim it, it will show you here uh, a little scale how much bright it is. If you hit the check mark again, it allow you to do zoom. You can actually zoom in or zoom out. If you hit the check mark one more time, it actually lets you tilt the camera. You can tilt it down, or you can tilt it up. And it stays like that all the time going forward, park, it doesn't matter. You don't have to put the car in reverse to have that on. It gets, it takes a little time to get used to it, of course, because it's, uh, Kind of something you never see before you use more to that and then you have this <laughs> uh, but believe me you can see everything behind you much better and even at night that but you can see on the mirrors itself and that's why technology is taking over all these cars because it's, it's so much stuff it's unbelievable now going to uh show you the engine here i'm gonna push the button shut off the car now when you looking for the release for the hood on this car you gotta deep deep it's way down there there we go now we're gonna go see this beautiful LT1 engine. The LT1 engine came out in 2016. Originally it came out in 2014. I mean, it came out in 2016 for the Camaro, but it was in 2014. It was out in 2014 on the Corvette, the seventh generation. So this is the exact same motor you find in a Corvette from 2014 all the way to 2019. It's an LT1 V8, 6.2 liter. 455 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque. It goes zero to 60 in only four seconds, and it gets a gas mileage of 26, 27 miles per gallon highway. Pretty decent gas mileage for a car like this. Uh, as an option, they ordered the performance intake, 
you can see how nice and beautifully done this it is from Chevrolet that's the original one and it comes in this airbox protected so it doesn't get any debris in there or any uh, you know dirt and stuff like that uh, so the cold air system is actually cold intake system is actually very functional very nice all VX engine has the performance patch in there it says Chevy performance and you can notice there is no power steering pump down power steering fluid instead you have an electric motor down there connected to the rack and pinion and that allows us to have an electric steering that is also adjustable or customizable we can adjust how uh, hard it is depending on what driving mode you're using etc another cool thing about convertibles they do have the stabilizing bar across the struts and that's actually to give it more structure of rigidity and this is an issue with electric uh, convertible cars is that when they lose the b and c pillars they lose some rigidity and uh, so to improve that it actually is stronger there's one on the top there's one on the bottom and the car is actually very very solid when you drive it down the road it's actually a little heavier than the coupe too and so that gives you uh, a little bit of different uh, driving experience notice that the battery is not here the battery is actually on the trunk that's been the case since the fifth generation this right here is actually a fuse box and it allows you to jump start your car from here this is where you put your positive cable your negative cable uh, it uses dex coolant that's good for 150,000 miles or all our heavy duty trucks use that that's why this antifreeze is not green instead of it's red you don't need to flush it for a long time 150,000 miles uh, you also have the heat extractor which i mentioned they're functional in all v8 engines along with the camaro emblem and notice there's struts holding the hood in place i don't have to put a little bar to hold it so very nicely done this car is an absolute beast and it has so much potential i have people put superchargers on this 12 fifteen thousand dollars later and the thing is 700 750 no problems uh, a lot of people have a limit on the lt1 engines they're limited to like 650 680 that's usually the swiss the sweet spot for it but it's very much capable and it's very good in gas another cool thing these are uh, harsh marks that you see on the fenders here they kind of have if you look closer they have a bunch of uh, camaro logos in there and you can see it with the sun hit it there we go so it does have a unique design for the uh what do you call it the harsh marks for the fenders let me give you another uh, perspective here i'm gonna start it again because i love the way it sounds let's see it goes. <laughs> there we go that's it man that's it man <laughs> camaro 2ss 2021 in white shade red tinko beautiful color beautiful package and the wheels the wheels are awesome i never seen these wheels in my life they're awesome they kind of they polish wheels instead of chrome so they kind of look chrome but they're not they look amazing you can see the fan hitting it's getting really hot in here so before my phone start dying here it's already uh moving crazy i don't know why i'm gonna show you the gas mileage in the camaro 20 miles per gallon combined 16 on the city 26 on the highway uh, so it's not really that bad in gas and here's your price information on the standard price is 48500 the white shady package design is an extra 2145 and includes the floor mat the stripes the logos you have the 10-speed automatic transmission this is a new transmission for the automatic cars it used to be an x-speed then you have your uh, dual exhaust performance for 995 dollars the air intake performance is 595 then you have the wild shady team code option is 495 dollars and the red calibers are 395 dollars along with the shift knob with carbon fiber 150 for a total of 6370 dollars in options plus the destination charge we're going up here to a price of 56065 dollars uh, and plus we have a dealer market adjustment of four thousand dollars for a total of sixty thousand sixty dollars for this beautiful piece of history this machine <laughs> now it sounds like a lot for a camaro but if you compare what the competition has to offer for around this same price range it's a lot less than this uh, so a lot of value on what you get on this let me uh, show you the passenger door very nice so your passenger will be very comfortable they have the same uh, camaro ski plates here with the same floor mat with the camaro emblem notice they have these ss emblems too printed on the seats this is your back seat with the roof on it's not very roomy back there i had to say that uh, but it works for kids <laughs> or young adults that are uh, not too big now, this is your glove box okay. 
And if you notice, there is a sign here that says sold because this car was sold early today. They come in to pick it up Monday. Uh, this phone right here is for in case you run out of gas. You need this because you have to go to two doors to pour gas in this car. It has a self-sealed gas tank. Uh, so that's why we include that in there. And it has these uh, knee pads over here in leather, very nice. So the passenger seat, very comfortable. Visibility is very, very good from here. Especially because the dashboard on the sixth gen goes down quite a bit. Mine is like a straight line. I cannot see anything out of that. Oh, you get used to after a while. But this is what I was uh, talking about. If you open the gas tank, there is no gas cap. It's a self-sealed gas tank. You just have to go deep enough to go through the two doors. There's one here and one, one right behind. Oh, hard to see with my watch. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if you see it there, but there's another door behind it. So there it is, my friend. My friend, I should say, Pluto. <laughs> Hope you don't mind my accent. Hope you don't mind my English. I'm just trying to do my best because this is an American icon. I'm so proud of the Camaro. And I don't want it to go anywhere. They're talking about maybe killing this car by 2024. I hope that's not the case because we love Camaros around here. And everybody loves them. But I mean, let's face it, it's, it's, it's an awesome car. For the money you cannot ask for more and the performance of course so i hope you like my video <laughs> i had a spanish version too if you want to watch it just don't forget to give a like to my video and subscribe to my channel i'm going to start making more videos in english believe it or not i'm going to go this route i'm going to make more english videos uh, so you guys take care thank you for watching me and you have a nice day awesome bye bye